All right, hi everybody, John Meadows here. My voice is a little gone. I'm at the Olympia this weekend, screaming and yelling, so I'm just now getting my voice back. We're getting ready to, to train back with a good group of guys here. I want to introduce you to them. Caleb, tell everybody who you are and what you do. Hey guys, Caleb Hegman here. I own Supplement HQ in Wichita, Kansas, and I also work for Iron Rebel. And Dalton, how about yourself? Hey guys, I'm Dalton Criswell. I own My Nutrition and Elevate Suffs over in Royal Oak, Michigan. All right, cool. Paul? Season <laughs> bet. Season bet. You guys have seen him in about 50 videos. So again, we're going to train back today. Maybe do some other stuff, we'll see. So thanks for joining, let's get to work. His head's down, so this is all stretching, and he's driving the bubbles out to the side this way. So it's all right up in here. Pull down just a little bit. Make sure what you guys are doing is you keep your elbows up. I want you ducking down. Stay down. <laughs> Keeping your elbows up. Come on. Work through the burn. Work through the burn. Good. Real nice angle here. Real nice angle here. Look at the line of pull right there. Watch his elbows. That's absolutely phenomenal right there. Bam. Right there. That's excellent. 20 reps. 20 reps. Excellent. So the first exercise, we actually call this plumber's rows because you bend over and your butt crap shows. But um, I think you saw the tips, head down, elbows out this way. We did we did three warm-up sets and then two sets of 20. It's not a real heavy exercise, it's more of a use the right arm path, but you'll feel that really good up in here. And now we're gonna move on to one of my favorite back exercises is a machine pullover. Much up. <laughs> ah. 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 Okay, five. Now, I want you to get down here, collect your last to pull it in a little bit right there. Right there. Good 
your last side. Here, and then when you're coming down, lock it in here when you're coming down. down here. So there you go, just like that. Squeeze. Squeeze right there. Good. 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 Come on. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Come on. Up. Big squeeze. Big squeeze. So, when you're doing a pullover, we're trying to hit our lats. I see a lot of people come all the way down, which is fine, as long as you can still feel it in your lats. But if you get to a certain point where you go beyond that and you lose the feeling in your lats, you probably went too far. So just come down to the point where you feel your lats contracting, and if you lose it, if you get to a point where you lose it, you've went a little, little too far. So try to find that right spot just for you and your mechanics and make it work for you. Ah. Ah. So with a pullover machine, I don't personally put my elbow on the pads. I'm not saying you should or you shouldn't. I just like to grab the bar on this one. Depends on how the machine is built. If you can get your elbows down on the pad and you can follow that good path, it's good. But when the pads are out here, like this kind of angle, I don't like. So that's just um, something I want you to see. So what we did on this today is we did we did one set to get the feel of the movement. Then we did one set of eight. And then the last two sets, we did eight reps. And then we did five force reps. The force part meaning helping out of the stretch. So what we're doing on this is getting a little bit of help from here to here. So that's kind of the dangerous point when you're fatigued. You don't want to lose control and just drop it. So we're spotting. We're helping each other get another five reps. And it burns like fire. That's it. Come on. Good. Good. Keep working. Good. Keep working. Okay, here comes our five. Here comes our five. One. Open them up. When you're coming down, remember, pull right here. Pull back there. There you go. Now feel it right here now. Right now? Yeah. And then move it down to there. Squeeze real hard. Squeeze the weight down with your lats. Squeeze the weight down with your lats. There you go. Squeeze. Squeeze through the whole rep. Squeeze through the whole rep. Don't let your lats loosen up. Keep them tight the whole time. There you go, tight. All the Reach. Let us stretch your rhomboids right in the middle of your back and then drive your elbows through so it's lax. Okay. But when you're coming down, man, just let it stretch the heck out of your rhomboids. Drive the middle, you'll feel it right in the middle of your back. Okay. Get elbows in, boom. Good. Stretch, open all this up. Open it up, stretch. Now contract lax. Right open it up, stretch. Contract lax. Good. If it's too low, you can't really stretch. So I, I raise it up a little so you can stretch. Right? Big stretch. You're going to feel the stretch right across here. Okay. 
Stretch right here. Tuck elbows and there you go, right there. Right there. There you go. All across there. Boom. There we go. I know, right? Okay, so now we're doing these rows on the Strive machine. This may look familiar to you. So you've seen me do these on the Prime row at home. Prime actually bought the patents from Strive uh, a while back. So that's why you see it's a new company, but it's the same machine. This is a phenomenal machine. The way we're loading it today is we're putting more weight at the top. That means it's harder when you start the movement. So you're stronger here than you are just to get from here to here. So we're just, we're trying to make the weight heavier where we're our strongest. Plus we're a little fatigued now, so you don't have quite as much strength to get back. So we're doing three sets here where you really open up your rhombo weights and then drive your elbows in. So we get some lat work too. Now, I think these are great for rhomboids, lower traps and lats, that whole complex is really good. So we're gonna do three hard sets on this. All right, I wanna show you a mistake he's making. Watch his arms. That's too much bicep. Stop your set. I want you to drop the seat. Okay, this is better. This is better. More back now. Now we got real heavy. His biceps aren't doing as much. Come on. See how heavy that is for him now? That's good, that's good. So, I'm guessing he's a little bicep dominant. <laughs> Which, look at his biceps. Oh, he's got awesome biceps. His biceps are taking over. When we moved the, the seat position, when we moved it up, all of a sudden his back had to do the work. And you see how he was struggling and his biceps were trying to compensate? Sometimes that's what you have to do. You gotta. Uh, so in this case, we're probably about to lower the weight a little bit. We're not to 25 reps, but we expose the weakness, oh, change man. the form, and Not get real. better. Uh, Good elbow drive. See all this up here working? Uh, all across there, you can see it working. Uh, all across there. Good elbow. Watch his elbows. Uh, Driving back with his elbow, right there. Good. Excellent. Excellent. Look at that elbow drive. Perfect. Perfect. Excellent. Excellent. Stretch. Flex. Excellent. Right there, back down. Tight, right here. Back down, back down, back down. Don't worry about the very end. I want to keep tension right here. Flex. Flex all this real hard. Good, good, right there. Right there, back, that's it, that's it. Don't go up any higher than that. Flex, real hard, tension, tension, flex. 11, we'll go ahead and go to 15, come on. 12, 13, two more, 14, and 15, good job. Uh. Uh. Oh. Come on, Caleb. Ah. Keep this tight. When you're lowering the weight, uh. keep it tight. Don't let it. Don't let it relax. Uh. Don't let it relax. Keep it flexed. Uh. Uh. 
So in this one, we're making it real heavy at the top. And we're only doing a half rep. So we're starting stretch and we're only pulling back to here. So stretch, right there, back there. Massive tension right here. Massive tension right here. Stretch. Come on, stretch. Tight. All the way to 15. Tight. Come on. Tight. Come on, tight. Flex. Tight. Come on. Keep going to 15. Don't relax. Keep your keep everything tight and flex. Tension. Tension. Come on. Good. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. No higher than that. No higher than that. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's what we want. That's all we want. Everything stays flexed. Everything stays tight. Come on. Flexed and tight. Keep them flexed the whole time. Flex really hard. Flex really hard. No shrugging. I don't want to see a shrug. Drive your elbow. Drive your elbow. Right there. That's what I want. Right there. Right there. Drive with your elbow. Don't pull with your bicep. Don't pull with your bicep. Drive your elbow. Drive your elbow. This is tight. Keep this tight right here. Keep this tight right here. Good. Good. Come on. Come on. Good. Come on. Good. 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 Let it stretch you. Now hang, when you do your last rep, stretch. Don't let go. Don't let go. Don't let go, do I tell you. Don't let go. Let it stretch. Let it stretch. Okay, just hold on. Five, four, three, two, one. Give me two more. One. Come on, Paul, get ready. Come on, let's go. One more rep. Okay, Paul, take the plane and the quarter off. Keep going. Keep going. Maintain that form. Maintain that form. Come on, maintain that form. Two, three more. Three, four, five. Pull plane. Now give me an ISO hold. Bring it up. Now hold. Ten, nine, eight. You got to flex. You got to flex. Six, five. Four, three, two, and go. Good job. All right, moving on to T-bar rows. Flat back. Drive with your elbows. A lot of upper back here. That's hit eight reps. Good, good form. Form above all. Yeah. That's it for back. What you think, Caleb? Awesome. Killer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a strong guy. What'd you think, big man? Can't reach. Can't reach? We're growing some weight, are so pumped. Now, just in case everybody didn't get it in the intro, Caleb, tell everybody your store and where you're at again. Hey, guys. Caleb, I have Supplement HQ in Wichita, Kansas. Wichita, Kansas. Okay. My nutrition guys in Royal Oak, Michigan. Royal Oak, Michigan. Yep. Say the name again. My Nutrition, like Michigan Nutrition. There you go. Michigan Nutrition. Yeah, my Nutrition. Yep. Yep. If you're around that area, make sure you check these guys out. They're doing great things with their business. And, and as always, Paul at Bullfrog Nutrition as well. That's it. We hope you guys liked the video. Try the workout. Let us know what you think. And we'll see you next time.